Hello and welcome. I am Dr. Neil Joshi. Welcome to you to my series, Learn Radiology with Dr. Neil Joshi. Today's topic is about radiophysics and CT scanning. Hounsfield unit is one of the most important thing in a CT scan. The name has given to a scientist who has invented CT scan. Now this unit is important because according to this unit, a grayscale is formed and to understand resolution and how image is developed, you must know what is the Hounsfield unit and how it is calculated and what is its application. Now to start this lecture, we can start with Hounsfield, Hounsfield unit, then there are lot of lecture on similar topic. They are there on my YouTube channel and on my website. Do visit it. With that, we will go to disclosure, acknowledgement and disclaimers. We have used in this lecture material which is in our department since many years. We are using it for our teaching purposes. However, there is some material we should download it from net. However, we have confirmed that these are royalty free and we are going to make use of this only for the educational and teaching purpose. With that, let's start the lecture and let's get going to the topic that is Hounsfeld unit. Now, a computed tomography CT scan acquires data to form an image by composing it together and by analyzing it. So, computer analyzes it and we get the image for visualization of detailed patient anatomy from the acquired data, a scientific meaningful system and a method was needed for tissue identification and differentiation. This is done by attributing different color ranges. They are not other color than black and white. However, gray are the shades of black and white. So, by attributing different colors and ranges to different tissues and densities, we achieved the required anatomical detail. According to the studies of grayscale, details in the image will be seen image will have different ratios and accordingly it will have different detail. We can identify anatomical structure with it. This should be interpreted by trained radiologists and doctors because this is a sectional anatomy. This is either axial, coronal, sagittal or even any direction or in any plane we want we can section them. So for that reason you need a trained radiologist or doctor. Now different systems and anatomical structures of the body should have varying levels of density otherwise everybody looks same. Why they don't look same? Because they have got different density. That's why blood vessel looks different, a soft tissue different, muscles different, then air different, small world different. Now low density fat is differentiated from high density bone because of there are different CT values to it. There are different density values to it and on gray scale these are different. This ability to identify varying density from the x-rays in the standardized manner heralded the invention of CT scanner. Unless we have got tissue differentiation, it's all of no use to have just a section of any uh, structure. Sir Godfrey Hounsfeld invented a method to measure this attenuation value that is reduction in strength of a X-ray beam caused by absorption. Now every tissue will have a specific attenuation value that much will be consistent every time and that will be reflected on grayscale according to the CT value or that is the Hounsfield unit. He found that it depend upon difference in anatomical structure. What differs if anatomical structure is different, it will have a different CT value, different attenuation value and different grayscale position. Hounsfield unit has a value of attenuation with a base of 0. 0 is taken as water which is a density of pure water. Now this is taken as a 0. Now Hounsfield scale can be both negative and positive. So it can have plus 1000 and minus 1000. Both higher the value the more density is the matter. 
So, if you get a higher CAT value n plus, that means it is a dense structure. Now, negative values are with the fat and air. Now, here we have shown how they are located. Now, if this cross section has to look different, it has to reveal the details, it has to have different coding for different tissues. Now, the number of image matrix are called a uh, there are different type of matrix. Now, they are numbered in different. Now, you are seeing here the section is there, then there are different squares in it. Now, attenuation in corresponding to each section is different. Now, in section, the one which represent the volume is called as a voxel and a surface of it which is two dimensional is called as a pixel. So, pixel and voxel is a representation of the image. Now, to obtain a virtual image, the CT number are assigned different shades of grayscale according to the tissue density or according to tissue attenuation, how they attenuate X-ray beam accordingly value is given. This number for certain tissue is fixed for a normal and abnormal which is consistent. Now, it consistent in both normal as well as abnormal. A normal liver will look same density is that of the other scanner. So, it will not happen that two scanners will show different densities to the liver. Similarly, liver abscess will have a different density. However, two different scanners will show same density. So, different from normal but consistent on both the incidences that whether you take section on A scan at one center or B at different centers. Now, each shadow of the gray represents the X-ray attenuation with the corresponding voxel. The number is compared to the attenuation value of water and displayed on a scale of unit named Honsfield unit, HU. As I told you, that is after Sir Godfrey Honsfield. Now, this scale assigned water as an attenuation value of 0. The range of CT number is up to plus 2000. Nowadays, there are scanners which can go up to 4000, but the practically important CT values are plus 2000 and minus 1000 that is to the air. So, these are the two important. More than that, we really practically we do not need them. Once calculated based upon difference in HU value of different tissues, their images will be displayed in axial coronal and sagittal planes in shades of a grayscale. In this grayscale, bone density is very high and is therefore white. Then the low density, soft tissues such as skin, fat and even the air in the lung will have different CT values. Air will go in negative, fat will go in negative, soft tissues will have different CT values. So, that is how they are differentiated. Now, here we are seeing air minus 1000, fat minus up to 100, water is 0, CSF is 0 to 10, that is because of the certain electrolytes in it and also sometimes there are WBCs. So, they make the attenuation slightly more than 0. The white matter of brain is 20 to 30, gray matter is 35 to 45, blood 55 to 75, calcium plus, calcium is plus, that is calcification are 200, bone can go up to 1000 and metal can go 1000 plus. So, that is how with looking at CT density itself, we can tell which is that material or what are the tissues composed of. Now, what is the window level, window level and window width. If we start seeing on all the images CT value of plus 2000 till minus 1000, it will be messy. So, what we have decided? that we should go or we should have a tool by which we can have a window level and window width which can give us a required tissues spectrum. Now, while the range of CT number recognizes by the computer is 2000, the human eye cannot accurately distinguish 2000 different shades. So, there are therefore to allow the observer to interpret the images only a limited number of issues are displayed. A clinically useful grayscale is achieved by setting the window length and window level on the computer console to a suitable range of Honsfeld units depending on the tissue being studied. Continuing, 
window level and window width. The term window level represents the central Hounsfield unit of a number within the window width. Whether it is for the soft tissues, it may be around 30 to 50. Then for fluid, it is maybe around 0 to 10. So that is the central value. Now, window width covers the HU of the tissues of interest. These are displayed as the various shades of grayscale. We will get it on a scanner on one side, the shades. Now, tissues with the CT numbers outside the range are displayed as whiter or blacker depending on the tissues. But this needs to be further analyzed depending on the change of the window width. So, the settings may change. They are in your hand to change it. Both the window level window width can be set depending on the computer console, depending on the need, depending on the tissues we are seeing. Their respective settings affect the final displayed images. Therefore, we have to be very cautious. For example, when performing a CT examination of a chest, a window width of 350 and window level of plus 40 are chosen to image the media stena. Why? because soft tissues are there in mediastinum which are around 40 and 350 means 350 width is adequate for us. To image the mediastinum we use plus 40 and window width of 350 while an optimal window width of 1500 and window level of minus 600 are used to access the lung fields mostly air. Why? The air is in negative. So, we need to see negative by putting window to minus 600. Now, to understand anatomy better, we use window settings. The pathology can be depicted better provided we do it in proper way. And images window setting and window width by using them, you can get best possible results. So, windowing is related to the gray level mapping of the contrast of CT images by changing the Hounsfield unit, CT numbers of the scale, there will be different highlight of a particular area within the medical image. So, that is also required sometime, especially when we are dealing with a patient of stroke, we change the window width, window level, so that we can even get the early ischemic changes, which means what are windowing and why we are doing it or what are the windowing settings. Now, this means by changing both the upper and lower Hounsfield units, that is the uh, threshold values of the Hounsfield scale, it is possible to occlude or hide certain features like from CT images removing the skin or hiding the skeletal system will be possible. Now, how to change? Is it possible? Yes. By dragging the lower end of the slider to the right increases the lowest HU value visible. This will result in the occlusion of the low density tissues from the CD reader. And by reducing the upper HU value will have the opposite effect of removing. That means more dense anatomy will result in the skeletal system being hidden from the view and more focus being drawn to the soft tissues areas of the organ. Now, here we can see these are the CT values. Now, by applying window width, how you can obscure the remaining things. If you apply a bone setting, you can get the details of the bone. But if you want to see a soft tissue, your window width has to be lower down. That is why we have given you how to set, where to set for the bone, where to set for the spleen, where to set for the pancreas. Left hand side are the gray scales or Hounsfield units. The x axis shows the plus value. Then if you are going for the breast, it is composed of fat, you have to go from negative density. Then uh, for lungs, you will have to go further negative because of the air. So that is the application we should do to visualize proper tissues. And if you want to diagnose properly, you have to diagnose the images properly. How to share hospital values in Nikon viewer? 
we recommend experimenting with the windowing settings including the HU values, threshold bar and the clipping slider to understand how you can actually visualize more your scan by hiding less relevant, less important details. You can do it with the help of sliders. We have seen what is Hounsfield unit. We have seen how it is calculated. We have seen how it reflects on a voxel and matrix. We have seen which to set for which tissues. With that, we are coming to end of this lecture. I thank you for giving me your valuable time. Please visit our website for more comprehensive detail in more different ways, not only in form of lecture, but in different ways we had displayed a knowledge that the average students can make use of it. Thank you. Goodbye and good luck. See you again in next lecture.